everything is is optional it's not mandatory like even that uv light they kept saying he's gonna have to do this but it wasn't like required it was our decision we uh left you with the hook on that last one didn't we we did we did <laughs> So here's the rest of the story. So uh, I'm going to the hospital to bring her, you know, her morning cleanse stuff. And we just, they have like a family room that's kind of separate from where Ashley and the baby are. Right, where we could like go be together. Yeah. But so, we couldn't bring the baby in there though. No, 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 no. So I, I kind of hunt out in the family room and then Ashley came in and we started talking and I said, all right, well, you know, what do you want to do do about this? And she's like, I want to take him home today. And I said, all right, we're going to do that. <laughs> so You were also like, kind of like, okay. We're, I was kind of over it, you know, <laughs> the fact that I you, couldn't even be there with you. And, you know, it's just. And that he was perfectly fine. Again, perfectly fine. There was nothing fine. wrong with him. And yeah, and they were trying to keep him there for just no reason because we know what jaundice is we know what the cause of it is and it wasn't life-threatening and we know we are not doctors we appreciate and we respect doctors but us as parents knew in our hearts that the right thing to do was for him to go home and not be at the hospital any longer yeah and we're not telling you like to do this to do what we did okay so this is just this is our story. This is our story. This is what happened with us. We're not telling you, okay, you need to go into the hospital and you need to d deny all the intervention, deny everything that they're trying to give you and just get out of there. Yeah. You know, just you need to ask the questions. That's all we're saying. Ask the questions, do your research, listen to a, what they have to say, have a better understanding. Yep. Don't just assume because everyone does it that you should do it. Yep. Yeah, we've, we've known, we know the medical system from just being sick and going through all of this for all those years that yeah. we kind of know what to expect. Yeah. And we could tell just based on the, the, well, so we decide that we're going to get him out of the hospital. Yeah. Today, so. like that day, like he's, he's, he's out of here. So it wasn't easy. I walk back and I ask for the pediatrician and they'd have a different pediatrician on staff each day so it was never the same person so they're like yeah I'll send her back into the family room and I'm like great so I take Ashley back there with me and it's me and her and we're waiting for the pediatrician to come in she comes in and uh you know she starts talking about him and how he's doing and she's like well we you know we want to keep him in here longer and you know I know you guys want to get him out tomorrow and I don't know where that came from <laughs> but yeah she had this date of tomorrow but I don't think you should be considering taking him out because his jaundice levels are are steadily increasing and if they get to a certain level this could cause brain damage and so she stopped talking and then I kind of jumped in and I said so Ashley was she was drinking her heavy metal detox smoothie and I turned to the doctor and I say so this drink Ashley's drinking this is called the heavy metal detox smoothie and this removes heavy metals from the body and metals when they're in your body they rust and then they oxidate and they sit in your liver and they cause problems and what is going on with our son right now is that he has an overburdened liver and that's what's causing his jaundice and see toxic heavy metals viruses radiation ddt all that stuff gets passed down from generation to generation to generation so when he was born he was born with a liver that was not working at 100 percent it was more working at like 70 percent so we understand jaundice and we understand that that uh, it's a liver and the liver's trying to rev up and it's having a hard time revving up because it's it's new This is a new child, and you know it's, it's overburdened. It's in a new environment a new world and, and and The liver is causing the jaundice and we get that but we feel that we have a better opportunity at home with him to heal his jaundice where we can give him natural light we can give Ashley foods like 
artichokes. Artichokes prevent toxins from moving from the liver to the brain. And when I said that, it was like, you could tell she was looking right past me. Like she wouldn't look me in the eye and she's like, you know, that like, look of this like- this hippie dude with like, all his foo-foo? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna heal this baby with like fruits and veggies? Are they, are they nuts? So I think they know more than me. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was one of those type of. Yeah, and it's again, it's too. not that we feel like we know more, or feel better than the doctors by any means. Like doctors are amazing, and you know, yeah. But yeah, and she even brought that like, up. We knew that this stuff would heal him. Yeah, she was like, now if you were in a situation where he had an uh, a heart. Oh yeah. Is something going on with his heart and what would are you, you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Would you bring him in? And I was like, Of course we would. We you know, we think that the doctors and the health system are great for emergency situations like that and so we would definitely bring him in and not just like think that he would get better by love and care at home. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, that was kind of the conversation was we just kinda of went back and forth and She's like, well, you know, this is, she told us what the disease is, it was like Kern something, the, the. Oh, where it goes to the brain. Where it goes to the brain. Yeah, and, and they gave us an, a pamphlet and stuff. Yeah, and so we were like, well, you know, she's like, Stu these studies show that blah, 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 children have this problem. And so I'm like, well, you know, do these studies take into account the, the, uh, other interventions. Yeah, I, I listed all the interventions when the, right. the child was born, but we yeah. won't we won't go through all. They don't take that into account, you know. Um, but that was the question: Do they take that into account in these studies? Because are these studies pointing out that these things cause the jaundice well, in they, the first place? They cause the liver to be more overburdened because yep. it's an invader, and then the liver's trying to collect it, and so then that adds more fuel to the fire and makes it even harder yeah makes yeah. it harder for the body to process the liver to process and for the to come down from the jaundice now not saying every baby that gets those interventions that leads to the brain damage we're just saying the studies do not take that into account yep. all babies livers have different um loads yep so so bottom line was she was gonna let us take him out that day but um, she put yeah. kind of a little fight fight in on it made us feel really guilty and feel bad about taking him out that we were gonna somehow cause a life-threatening problem to our child by taking him out early but yeah. we knew in our hearts that this was the right thing so we went ahead and did it we had to sign a form just acknowledging that we were gonna be taking him out um, Ashley went back into the room with uh, the baby and when she was in the room with the baby the baby uh, or the doctor was in there right yeah so she, she had snuck in there and I was like oh my gosh what is she doing in here and I was like hi <laughs> yeah and so and she was like oh is it okay if I just do a little checkup on your son and I was like yeah that's fine I wish she would have uh, asked me that in the room yeah but, um and yeah then, yeah and then so you were in there and then like the the other nurse kind of came in after the doctor left and she was like is everything okay like, yeah she was really concerned and i just had to you know she was like you know i know it's your decision but it, you know i really care for my patients and i you know i just i have to know why you're taking him out because i feel like you're putting him at risk and so then i just i explained to her i was like you know and her and I had already talked before how like Ben went through all this chronic illness, couldn't find answers, plant-based diet healed him, you know, all the all that stuff. And so I was like, you know, given through what we went through with Ben and our journey and just how we healed him, we know in our hearts that this is the best thing for our son. And I was like, you know, if he was, you know, on a ventilator or had other like really life-threatening things, like we would not be ripping him out of here. It's because what we know about jaundice and you 
cardio. We know that he's gonna gain weight and be fine with that aspect too. And then she felt better just like knowing, but she was like worried. And then they like, they had a lactation consultant in there too that they had sent in. And then she was also giving me a little guilt trip. <sighs> And then even but. like yeah, like the doctor asking how we sign the the documents. I mean, it was it was they were they were trying to pick Ashley apart now that she was separated from me because I was doing a lot of the talking in oh, that meeting, yeah, they and they worried. were thinking that it was me that was making the decision, and she yeah. was not part of that decision, and I was forcing this upon her yeah. and the baby. They were worried about that, but I you know one hundred percent stood behind it so anyway so finally I think around like four o'clock we got out of there and um, Ben had the car seat and we loaded him up and we took him home and that felt really good it was really really good to be home oh and one thing we didn't mention was that the pediatrician was like well I would like to make him I don't, this was a Friday she's like I'd like to make an appointment for him the next day Saturday at our um, clinic to get his jaundice levels tested and we said thank you but we're gonna decline you know because in our minds we just wanted to like cut the cord and not be connected anymore because we knew if we went and got his levels tested and if they were still rising that they would want us to keep coming back and checking on him but for us taking him out was like thank you you know we're going and this, that's the yeah, end even, of our service. We're gonna go, you know. Yeah, I even said like, I don't think we see eye to eye on the jaundice thing. If his jaundice levels are higher, you're gonna suggest the UV radiation treatment with the lights. Right, which we were trying which to we're, avoid. We've already told you that we don't wanna expose our child to radiation. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna decline this appointment for tomorrow. We appreciate the offer, but we're gonna be on our way. Yeah, and we're like, you know, we're gonna, go get him checked up by an pediatrician, pediatrician. transfer our services over to that you know and so they knew that right so okay so we get him home we get him in the light we get Ashley all the liver healing foods which then will heal him it, everything's going great mm -hmm. we get some sleep the next you, day you get some sleep <laughs> yeah so <laughs> the next day I end up going to the market so I'm at market Ashley's at home and I'm getting all these phone calls and then Ashley's getting all these phone calls and we're like uh what the heck is going on and it's like the midwives are calling this pediatrician from the hospital is calling from the clinic from the clinic and they're like yeah you know you were supposed to be in here at 11 o'clock or noon or something like that and we're like and we're like what we told that doctor that we weren't coming to that appointment because we don't see eye to eye in those services. Your services are no longer needed. After I signed that form, that was the end of the, your services. Yeah. And um, then the midwife calls us. And we, so this is our home birth midwives that they had on file. And the pediatrician called them because we hadn't picked up our phones. Yeah. And so then the, the midwives are calling us and they're like, you got to call this guy back. You should just go in and get the test done. He's They're... gonna call CPS on you if you don't get it done today. Yeah. So then we're like, okay, we'll we'll call him back. And I'm so... like freaking out. I'm like, heck no, no one is taking my baby from me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, all right, well, I'll I'll call the guy. So I called him when I was at market, left him a voicemail. Yeah. So we weren't together. He was at. Uh, the farmer's market working. Oh, yeah, we said that yeah. and then I was at home So then I call him and leave him a message and then I get back here and you know Everybody wants to talk about what happened and you know, so a lot of drama So then I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna go to the house and I'm gonna go work over there And if I hear from him, I'll let you guys know So then I'm driving over the house. This is like six o'clock or something like that just to water the plants and then this guy calls me. It's like six o'clock. So the guy calls. The clinic me. is closed at this point. Yeah. So he calls me and says, "Hey, I'm uh, I'm such and such pedi head pediatrician. You know, um, you missed your you appointment. missed your appointment today." And I said, "Yeah, uh, we told the doctor that we checked us out yesterday that we weren't going to that appointment. That you know we didn't believe that jaundice was an issue like." 
you guys believe. And so we, we, if we go in and his levels are high, you're gonna suggest that the UV light radiation treatment, which we're gonna just deny. So I don't think we see eye to eye here and I don't think this is gonna go anywhere if we come in and get this jaundice test done. He's like, well, he wasn't having it. He's like, you, you know, you need to come in here. This is a life-threatening uh, thing. You're neglecting putting, your child. You're neglecting your child. You're putting your child at risk here by not getting this test. If he, if his levels get too high, he could have permanent brain damage from this. And you're, you're, you guys are just negligent parents, and you're not taking out, taking care of your child. And I'm like, okay, well. Um, where where are we right now? And he, he's like, well, if you don't come in by the end of today, I'll be calling CPS on you. And he wanted us to go into the NICU because the clinic was closed. So it means we would have to go back to the NICU where he, we took him out. Yeah. <laughs> to get it and tested. so I'm like, okay. And then he's like, all right, I'll be calling him. And then he hung up on me. So, you know, I was like, I call Ashley, I tell her, she's like, let's just go in, get this stupid test let's done. Let's do it, like, we can't fight this. So then I come back here, I get Ashley, get the baby, we head into the hospital. We get him tested at the NICU. Levels are Levels completely normal. Levels were down, they were fine. They were like... This is still Saturday. Yeah. The day after we took him out. They were, they were low, uh, I went in and I dealt with it, and they tested him on the chest and they were like, oh, well, I was there too, but only one person could go in. Yeah. So they were like, well, I'm going to test him on the chest. Okay. His levels are normal. And I was like, great. And then she comes back and she's like, well, I need to test his, his shoot this on his head too. And I'm like, no, you're not doing that. You just wanted normal levels. You got normal levels. <laughs> I came here because you guys threatened me with CPS and I'm done. Yeah. Your services are no longer needed. Not we cool. have a pediatrician now, and we will be dealing with them. Thank you for all that you have done, but we're out of here. And then so we leave, we come back here to the house, and we're at my parents' house. So yeah, we're living at Ben's parents' house the last few months, if you guys missed that on one of our videos. And so we get back here, and my uh, dad like pops his head out the window, and he's like, man, you missed it. We're like, what? And he's like, two cops just showed up here. We're like, oh my what? gosh, what the heck is happening? And so, so my dad explained that the two cops came looking for us and the baby. Yeah. So, and so this guy called CPS the on us. Pediatrician had called CPS. CPS sent the two cops for a wellness check, and the cops were cool parents his parents were just like oh they just went to the hospital to get him tested and they were like oh okay yeah and the guy said oh you have in till the end of today and so the pediatrician we, pediatrician and then he goes and calls cps yeah. and yeah. so yeah so, yes. anyways like we did it that was the end of it in the police reports it shows we were at the hospital we, we got a record, record at the hospital, at the, hospital at, at the same time they were there yeah. so i mean time and the date and everything the cps stuff we're hoping is just nipped in the butt well but we don't know no other issue since then yeah. that was july at beginning of july and it's now mid-september but so anyways and yeah. then you know that a week later we went to his you know first pediatrician appointment and his jaundice was fine normal completely yeah. gone so no, no nothing and so he, and he's doing great now yeah so <laughs> I don't know, but well, one that heck was of, one heck of a burst. That right? was really stressful. <laughs> that was really stressful, but um, but you know it it, it you, you have saying, to stand up for yeah. what you believe in, you know, and, and but yeah, and be smart about it. it too. Be smart and and listen to what the person has to say. Don't just you know be an ass and oh we're gonna do this. Da, da. Listen, you know, sit there, listen because. They're, they want to feel like you appreciate what they're telling you. And so yeah. you got to listen. And, you know, at the end of the day, you don't have to do what they tell you. Make your own choices, right? Yeah. And so we chose this path and this was the outcome. <laughs> Not to say this is going to happen to you, but I think this video is important. 
and getting this information out there is important because this could happen to anybody and it it's trying to kind of show you the power that the these hospitals have and if you don't abide by what their suggestions are then yeah the alternative could be getting cps yeah on. everything is is optional it's not mandatory like even that uv light they kept saying he's gonna have to do this but it wasn't like required it was our decision for what we wanted what treatment we wanted for the jaundice yeah. so so but it's getting dark yep we we got this video done that's good yeah, <laughs> um thank you guys for listening and we're so happy to share this with you let us know if you have any questions um and we'll see you guys next time see ya bye